Hey everyone, Schnickerman here back with another video. Today we're going to take a look at Limited Run Games booster boxes. These contain 36 packs of the Limited Run Game cards with five cards in each pack. And the booster boxes themselves have one, have one screening card, which is exclusive to one of the cards in the set and is a one of one, as well as one pack that has five all gold cards within it. So totally you get about 180 cards and there's some really good value here. So I want to kind of focus on, you know, rough values, average prices for some of these cards, as well as the screen printing card, as well as the gold factor. So there's a lot of gold cards in here, one in each pack, and that factors in as well. So these retailed for 199 USD, and I think the value of this is actually much higher than that. So we'll take you through that, and we'll show you why I think this is a better deal than the Hobby Boxes, which retailed for $49.99. Throughout this video, if there's any cards that you're interested in, especially if I pulled more than one, feel free to contact me at any of my social media listed in the description below. And how do I know about the rarity of these cards? Limited Run Games has a complete list of all their cards and how rare they are from common to uncommon to rare to ultra rare. So that's going to be a consideration for the value of these cards. And for the most part, a lot of these cards, the prices can vary. So the price guide will be, you know, using my discretion, basically. Hey, everyone. Today, I got this Limited Run Games booster box. You can see it's got some pretty cool art on it. it talks about Limited Run, all the games they published. And why I was most interested in this is just trying to get some more cards to add to my collection. There's five exclusive cards in here and there is a proof card. I kind of wanted to see if the proof card might make up for the value of this box, and I can essentially have all the cards for free. This thing comes with about 180 cards, I think, compared to the Hobby Box, which, you know, has a very few amount of cards, but people were picking them up because I think they thought that the exclusives and the autograph cards were going to be worth it. I've just taken off the plastic. Um, you can see that this kind of opens like a normal booster box. You can kind of pop the top. But basically this is the uh, printing plate proof card kind of thing. And this is where the value is gonna be. So I'm hoping I got a pretty good card, uh, like a Shantae or something like that. It's doubtful, but let's see what we end up getting here. Ooh, and it is a Double Dragon Kunio Kun Retro Brawler Bundle. So it's for a bundle, I think. 388. I guess if somebody's interested in this, watching this video, uh, hit me up on any of my social media accounts. So here's the boosters. Comes with five cards. I think we'll keep track of pr vague prices because some of these are kind of all over the place, but um, I want to also have the gold card counter. And I might speed up some of this because it's going to be a lot of opening. But it looks like, oh my god. On the gold front, now this is hilarious. I don't know if they did this on purpose, but that's the gold card right there. Virtual Brawler Bundle. Let's see if I can get a better look at the what it actually says here. Double Dragon. Okay, so that's one gold. Got a Chasm. The Complex. We got another one of these. And we have a... Oh wow, Saturday Morning RPG. This is an exclusive, I think, to this box. So that's a pretty good pickup. I'm gonna put that separately. Now, I think we'll also get a good amount of doubles because I believe there's only like 80 different cards and we're gonna get, oh, it looks like, okay. So it looks like there's a gold in every box. So we got another Chasm. We got another Complex. Uh, this is probably gonna happen a lot. We got Smugglecraft, River City Girls, this is a good one, don't have that one. Oh, and there's another Saturday Morning RPG. I feel like this one was already released, but I may be mistaken on that. Maybe this is an exclusive, actually, so that's two. Let's keep it going. I would like to have perhaps a gold set of Saturday Morning RPGs and maybe some Shantae. Oh, there's, and there you have it. This card I already own, um, but actually I think I own this. Yeah, I own this, but that's a gold version. Ooh, Freedom Finger. This is one I wanted to pick up the actual game for. I never got it. We got Super Daryl Deluxe. Ooh, there's another one I do not have. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Sweet. 
and there's another Saturday morning RPG. So, so far we got three of those. Off to a pretty good start. I'm telling you, I think the value in this box is really high, way higher than people thought. I don't think these sold out for a while, um, but I think they should have. So this is another bundle and a gold, which is a good combination, double dragon, same game, gold version. Super mash. We got five dates. This is an interesting game. We got the exclusive Plumbers Don't Wear Ties card. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, man. And what is this? Jay and Silent Bob. Okay, that's a cool one to add to the collection. I started making all these piles, but they're not going to be anything. I'm really hyped about this. I don't think anyone's going to be as excited about this as me, but I do like these cards quite a bit. There's our Gold Chasm, third copy of this card. The Complex. We got, oh, a Night Trap that I don't have, because this is a newer version. I have a lot of the older ones. Got a Night Trap. Ooh. Sam and Max. The Takeover. It's a nice looking card. I haven't got a lot of limited run stuff game-wise in a while, besides a few titles. Some Konami and stuff like that, and Shantae, of course. We have Demon's Tear for the gold. We have whatever this is. Don't even know how to pronounce it. Earth Might. We got a... This another bundle. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what happened with this Double Dragon Retro Brawler bundle, but it seems like maybe a lot of people didn't buy it. Ooh, another Shantae I don't have. Shantae Half Genie Hero. Now it's going into the personal collect. We got plenty more packs to go. We have Paper Beast. I don't know what this game is, but I like the gold. We have After Party. Another Chasm. We have another Saturday Morning RPG, which we had before. Another River City Girls. Like I said, we'll get a lot of... Man, I'm looking at that other Shantae one. Kind of chibi art, and I'm loving it. We have a gold of five dates. We have another Freedom Finger. Oh, another Night Trap. Love to add that. Another one of these Deluxe Bundle ones. Double Dragon Neon. That's a new one. We're still getting a pretty good amount of new ones. I guess even though there's 80, I think 80 is so. And we get 180. Some we'll see a lot of doubles and some we won't even get, I'm sure. Project Warlock. Cool looking art. Gold. Complex. Saw this one before. Got these two. <laughs> wow. Saturday morning RPG. I can probably make a full set of those and trade or sell for sure. I think people are going to be looking for those. Outbreak Collection. It's an interesting gold. So Outbreak meaning the... Uh, PC horror games. We got another Freedom Finger. Another one of those. Another one of those. Bundle, bundle. Something happened with that bundle. They either made too many, too many bundles and nobody got them, or they forgot to ship the cards, or God knows what. We got another Paper Beast Gold. I think. I think this one we had. Ooh, I'm not focusing. I think we already had a Paper Beast Gold. Smuggle Craft After Party. Uh, this is a ruby one, which we don't have yet. Uh, another Shantae Pirate's Curse that I don't have. I think I technically never got any version of Shantae Pirate's Curse, and therefore that's why I don't have any of the cards. There's a lot of the other cards I picked up. That is a gold Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Very sought after by myself. Just kidding, I don't know. Had that one before. Demon's Tear. Jay and Silent Bob. Hey, now we're talking. Oh, this is a good one. This is the fan bundle, I guess. Director's Cut. Shantae Risky's Revenge. That's a pretty sought after card, I believe. Happy to add that one. That one, unfortunately, is going to personal collection. If we get another one, that one would be up for trade, etc. Oh man, the Shantae cards are just so good. Although, we got a Demon's Tear gold uh neon city riders we don't have that one yet paper beast oh this one we don't have i don't think we have the uh bug fables 
This is a pretty cool double dragon one from the bundle. Or is the bundle just the name of the game? I have to actually look. Usually the bundle means that they uh, are from a bundle of games that they sold. But, ooh, this is a cool card. Don't know anything about Earthlight, but I think that looks pretty sweet. Chasm, another one that we don't have. Oops, I forgot to put the gold over there. So we got another one that we never saw. Never Ending Nightmares. Another Bug Fables, which I do like. And I don't think we got this Shantae, but I think I have it in my personal collection already. And we have so many more packs to go. I think we might be like halfway done. We've got a bulk majority of the stuff I wanted. With a few exceptions. We got a gold complex. The complex. Seen it, seen it, seen it. I don't think we saw this Salmon Max yet. Now's the part of the video we speed up a little bit. And we try to get through some of these cards. There's the other Salmon Max, but gold this time. Freedom Finger, blah blah blah, we got all those. Ruby Definitive Edition, and we got a gold one of these. The Woman in the Red Jumpsuit. This is a, another one, Super Daryl Deluxe we haven't seen. This is Neon City Riders, I think we saw that, saw that, another one of those. A lot of repeats. Like I said, folks, you to see a lot of doubles here. So now we have a gold of the Saturday Morning RPG. I think that's pretty cool. We don't have one of those yet. Smugglers, saw that, saw that. This is, I think this was a new River City Girls. Can't remember if we had that one. Ooh, here's a good one. Double Dragon Neon Gold. Ooh. Oh, we got a gold pack, fellas. Another Double Dragon 4 gold pack. Made of Skr gold. And two Saturday Morning RPG golds. Wow. What a pack. Okay, so I guess there are some all gold packs hiding in there. And that is pretty exciting. There might only be one per box, I'm not sure. I don't even know if that's something that normally happens. Gold Chasm card, I think we had that. These we've all had. Another Shantae. Still got a lot of packs to go, folks. A lot of value here. I don't know why people were going after the other ones. There's another Saturday Morning RPG. Gold. And these are repeats, repeats, all repeats. We've got... Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many packs here. Oh my god. Yeah, still like 20 packs. Maybe 18 packs. Okay, here we go. Double Dragon 4 Gold. Chasm. This is a different River City Girls we don't have. The plumbers don't wear ties. Oh, because this is the fan bundle. That's a little bit more sought after for sure. If you want to know you know, the rarity of these cards, you can go to Limited Run's website. They have the uh, rarity guides for all the cards that they've released. Here's a really nice gold. The fan bundle, ooh, that's a really good one. The fan bundles and deluxe bundles, etc. They're the hardest ones to find, so if you get gold of those. Complex, another night trap. I don't know if we had that night trap. Blah, 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 you can see my pile just grows. Ooh, this is a cool gold we have not seen. This is a Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, but a really cartoony looking one, and I do like that. Uh, got that. Shantae again, Bug Fables. I think my cards are actually getting in the way. Ooh, this is a cool one. Here's a Fan Bundle Gold, Double Dragon. That's a sweet one for sure. Oh, here you go. Ground Zero Texas, new one. Uh, Super Mash. There's those two that we've already seen. Ooh. Now here's another fantastic pickup. We got the gold. I don't know which one this is. The fan bundle. Love Shantae. Ground Zero Texas. That's a new one. Art's amazing. Uh, I've seen all of those. I've pretty much gotten everything I wanted to get. We got another all gold pack. That'd be sweet though. I don't remember if we got this exact gold before. Old, old, ruby. 
there's anything in here that you really are eyeing that I don't want to add to my collection, feel free to reach out in the comments. Smugglecraft Gold. Uh, this is a new one. Oh wow. Half Genie Hero. I think this is also a new Double Dragon Neon. Both of those cards are super awesome. Sometimes you forget there's there's actually a lot of different cards that sometimes aren't in the card packs. And also, if you just get one copy of the game, you don't get. There's another Bug Fables Gold. I think this is an after party we've never seen. Ooh. Maybe we saw her early on. Another Shantae, another Dog Fable. We certainly do not have a shortage of this Shantae Director's Cut. We got the Ruby logo gold, which I think we didn't have. Gold version, these are all the same. Okay, we got a Gold Chasm, which we definitely have that. There's so many versions, so many copies of that. Those we all had. Now we got on the last five packs, everybody. So let's hope for something interesting. This one I've already got gold of. So this one will be for sale or trade. The Shantae Director's Cut Relic Hunter Expo. Uh, seen it, seen it, seen it. Got another one of these. Ooh, here's one. Oh, that's a cool gold. The Night Trap Vampire. That will definitely be staying with me. Another version of the Relic Hunter. Third to last pack here. Open it up. We have a gold Ground Zero Texas. Bunch of stuff we've already got. Second to last pack. Let's say one more all gold pack, but I don't think it's going to happen. Because I don't think there are any more. We have a gold Sam and Max. Night Trap, Ground Zero, blah 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 blah. And the final pack, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see it. Ooh, another, another gold plumbers don't wear ties, and then those are all got. So there you have it. We got, look at this fat stack of golds. A few doubles, but for the most part, pretty good finds. A lot of uh, Saturday morning RPGs, a few Shantae sprinkled in, which I'm looking for, and just one more shot of actual printing card for double dragon bundle and then you can see here this is an actual printing plate used to manufacture the cards only one of these exists and there you have it so guys that was actually a pretty crazy pack i think the value is tremendous so i'm going to kind of go through how much i think it's worth but i'm going to use some a lot of average prices and some general speculation on certain things and i'll kind of total up what i think it's all worth at the end so here was the printing plate card that I ended up getting, the Double Dragon one. This is a one of one, of course, so 388. After doing some digging for solds for these, you know, if you're at a more sought after game like Shantae, it could be worth a few hundred bucks. I think for Double Dragon, it might be worth enough to be somewhere in the $100 range. So for sake of this video, let's call it $100 because I'm going to undershoot a lot of other stuff. Have 40 different gold cards. And the golds, for the most part, at least in the past, usually like secondary sale for about 10 if it's like a not really desired game, uh, but usually don't go for much less than 10. Here we have 40 because there was 36 packs and one pack had five golds in it. So that's 40. And we were lucky enough to hit some pretty crazy golds. I have a list here and I think there's a, quite a few golds that I got that were uncommon or higher. Ultra rare gold, another ultra rare gold, another ultra rare gold, some uncommon golds. So pretty high amount of value. So let's say for example, let's say on average $10 a piece minus like, so I have pretty much 13 golds in here that I think are going to go well above $10. Some of them could be in $100 range. There's one Shantae in here that sold previously in gold version for I think $125, which would be this one. And there are some in here. I actually have, I think, all five golds for the exclusive cards to this booster box. So that would be the two Plumbers Don't Wear Ties and actually the four Saturday Morning RPG cards as well. So a total of six golds there. And then that would basically leave us with at least 13 higher priced gold cards which would leave the rest i'm gonna say for those 13 though we might have an average price of like 
let's say $30. I think that's pretty fair actually, because I think some are gonna be well above that and some might be right around that mark due to their rarity. Then taking the rest of the cards, I've sorted out all the rest of the uncommons and there's about 30 uncommons and higher and Shantae cards. And the reason I put Shantae cards in here is, again, pretty much for the most part, basically every Shantae card goes for at least $10, which is closer to gold for pretty much any other card. So I've added those in here as well. And let's say again that these all go for just $10 a piece because their uncommons are greater. And then let's pretend like the actual value of any not Shantae or not more than a common goes for two dollars a piece which again i think is pretty much an undershot for most of them and then we'll get the final total of that kevin you'll have to put in the total here so i hope everyone enjoyed this video this was really fun to do i think that these were criminally undervalued um the booster boxes didn't sell out like the hobby boxes did i know that the hobby boxes probably had like maybe 100 or 200 dollars worth of value in them at least based off my speculation. I guess it could be a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. If I'm able to actually get another one of these booster boxes for retail price, I think I might do another video if you're interested in seeing that. Please let me know and please reach out, like I said, if there's any of these doubles that you want for your collection. I do have, I think, a full set of the uh, Saturday morning RPG cards. So if you're interested in any of the exclusives, let me know. And we'll try to work something out. And then until the next video, guys, peace out.